now. Well, you won't find it in their job description, but some Roseburg EMTs recently did some emergency grocery shopping, all to keep a man from slipping back into a diabetic coma. News Source 16's David Anderson is live tonight in Roseburg to tell us about this life saving shopping trip. David? Yeah, Renee, after bringing the man back from unconsciousness, EMTs told family members he needed food, but they didn't have any in the house, and payday was still two days away. So, paramedics went shopping. Family, you know, they're just, times are tough right now, and they just needed to help up. On Thursday, Roseburg EMTs got the call. For a diabetic emergency, where they found a patient unconscious lying in bed. Emergency responders Brian Burke and David Card arrived on scene. Found out the patient had a very low blood sugar. We'll respond to people, and they'll be unresponsive, and it can be, it can actually lead to death. So they set up an IV, and the man came to, but that was just a quick fix. Soon, he would need something more substantial. I mean, he needs some complex sugars and com complex carbohydrates. So they asked the family if they had anything they could make him. They said they didn't have much and were waiting until payday to get more. I asked for peanut butter and jelly sandwich. They had a little bit of peanut butter, no bread. Um, went to have some eggs scrambled. They didn't have any eggs. Nothing. Inside that refrigerator, you know, hey, you know what, it's time to step in and assist these people a little bit. They just really looked like a family that was in a lot of need at that time and really needed some assistance. So EMTs drove to a nearby store and picked up some food. Some staples, uh, do the right thing, bring some food back to them. Sometimes, at a, you know, we get an opportunity, we see an emergency that's beyond just medical treatment. We can take some action there and, and help them out. We were unable to reach the family for comment, but paramedics say they were extremely grateful for the food. A happy ending, but Laverne Haas at the local food pantry says it didn't have to come to this. Uh, we serve presently about a thousand families a month, and we're here simply because people need food. He says the family was most likely eligible for emergency food supplies through the fish food pantry. Any family of four making less than $3,400 a month is. And the pantry is designed specifically for instances like this, where a family needs food to cover a short lean period in between paychecks. People can even pick out what they like. Uh, we have a system where he picks out his own food. So if he's at all sensitive to his dietary needs because of his diabetes, he can pick what he, what's appropriate for him. Haas says there are dozens of food pantries open in Douglas County alone. Anyone with an emergency food situation or just needing something extra to get by should stop in and see if they're eligible. For more information on food pantries in your area, go to camptr.com and just click the red Get It button. In Roseburg, David Anderson, News Source.